Hey guys, it's Di, and this is my Disney vlog, Disney vegan food vlog. Um, this is my last part, part three. Oh my gosh, it's been a crazy, crazy uh, video. I had to put it, put it in three parts because I didn't want to cut any of the foods that I ate and the restaurants that I went to. In total, I went to 26 places in the 10 days that I was there, and I just had an amazing time, and I just wanted to share this with everyone. Um, I had some wins. I had some not so good you know fruits but it was all an experience and I wanted to share you know my thoughts and like what my opinions were obviously you know you may like something that I didn't or vice versa but I'm just trying to share um, I was trying to be very honest I was trying to show all the pictures and describe all the tastes as, as good as I could um, but I hope that you guys enjoyed the series if you have watched the whole um, the whole series if you haven't I've clicked I put the description in the um, the link in the description below for video one and video two so if you haven't watched those go ahead and watch those because um, they have a ton of content especially number one I have like a ton of restaurants that I went to and um, this video though has my favorite favorite restaurant that I went to um, it was cold. It was such a surprise because I would barely even plan to go there. It's one of the new restaurants at Disney in their Coronado Springs Convention Center um, tower that they just built. Oh my gosh, it's called Toledo, the restaurant. It's more like a Spanish tapas place. Um, and they had this one dish that I was just blown away. Um, so uh, definitely stay tuned for that. Um, it's part of this video. And I just hope that you guys enjoyed the series. Uh, I hope that you got something out of it. If you're planning to go to Disney, you can you can get excited because there's so many options. I mean, I didn't even try everything. I tried a lot, I have to say. But uh, there's just so much more than, you know, for my next trip that I'm going to try. And there's definitely going to be some repeats, which I already repeated some of them here, as you can probably see if you watch one and two. There's some, there's some dishes that I love that I repeated. And that just says a lot, you know, when you, like, are craving um, some of the dishes. That says, like, how good and tasty they are. So, so yeah, uh, I'm going to leave it at that. I hope that you guys really enjoyed this uh, vlog because I love making it and I hope that like I said you get something out of it and um, if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed yet to my channel um, I'm gonna continue to be making a lot of more um, what I eat in a week and also um, travel videos because I'm gonna be traveling a lot in the next two months um, this one was a lot more like fun vacation type of um, foods um, when in the next ones that I'm going to be traveling, I'm really going to focus on the weight loss part of it just because I'm not going to be in vacation. I can't be in vacation all the time when I travel because then I can't, you know, reach my goal weight. <laughs> so, um, so yeah, be on the lookout for that. Hit the notification bell so that you're notified when the videos come out. And thanks so much for watching and I hope that you enjoy this last part of the, of the Disney vegan videos. Bye. Aloha. And I'm going to put right here the list of the restaurants that I ate uh, for this video, video number three, in case you're looking specifically for one, they appear in the order that they, I'm going to talk about them. So in case you specifically want to see one of them, go ahead and um, kind of jump ahead. <laughs> um, but they were all delicious. Um, and these were some of the fancy ones that I ate. Um, but so I'd suggest watching them all. But if you want to specifically go to one, here's the list. Here's Village House. And here's the menu. They don't really specifically say vegan. They just have an allergy-friendly uh, menu. However, the pizzas here, um, where it says right there, meat lovers, pepperoni, or cheese pizzas, they can all be made with Daya cheese, uh, which makes them vegan. So um, I actually also ordered the, it's not here, but you can order the margarita. Um, oh yeah, right there. The margarita pizza with Daya which um, comes with um, fresh tomatoes and a little bit of balsamic um, drizzle and it's all vegan so that's what I'm getting so we'll give it a try okay so here's my pizza and it looks really good I have to say it looks good however okay here's my hand <laughs> this is how small this thing is this is like I mean it's the size of my hand it literally is the size of my hand <laughs> yeah, and it was um, eleven dollars. So that's great. Um, so we'll just 
give it a try. We're here. I love sitting by the um, It's a Small World window so you can see the ride going through um, and enjoy a meal or three bites. <laughs> Let's try it. And here's a close up of my tiny vegan pizza. Okay, so here's the slice that I'm trying. A little bit of everything, a little bit of tomato, a little bit of the um, cheese and the basil. So. It is good. I mean, I like Daya cheese. You can taste it as Daya, but I like it. The crust is really good. The tomato um, sauce is nice, and also having the, the fresh, um, warm tomato, it cooks really nice. And of course, the basil has a little bit of freshness to it. It's good. Um, it's just tiny. But, um, and for the prices, you know, I've gotten a lot more food for this price. But if you're craving pizza, um, it's a good choice. Um, they definitely didn't skip out, skimp out on like the cheese or anything. And, um, like I said, the, the flavors are really very good. It tastes like a yummy pizza. So, um, so it's nice to have the option. I just wish it was like twice the size. Okay, and of course, no, this place would be complete without having some dolphin. Here in the Aloha Isle of Refreshments to get some Dole Whip. And of course, um, this one has some cookie, obviously not. I'm just gonna get the regular um, Dole Whip on the Tiki Bowl souvenir. I'm getting. Now they have a special one raspberry and pineapple swirl. But um, I'm just having the regular. Okay, so here we go. It's really cute, this little bowl that they give you in. They actually put it inside a regular cup, but they give it to you here. And I already kind of tried it. I can't help myself. It's so good. I get this all the time in Hawaii. <laughs> but just like having it here, it's just something else. It's just different. It's special. It's just, I don't know, it's just Disney. Um, but it's just refreshing. It's so hot right now. And it's like a nice little snack. It's all vegan and delicious. And um, they give you a pretty good amount. Um, with the souvenir cup, I think this one was um, $7.99, but um, it's a lot. This is like half my pizza, and I think I'm going to be full with this. So, um, yeah, I'm going to eat this now. And here's my Insta-worthy picture of the day. <laughs> so another uh, vegan option for a treat uh, other than the Aloha Isle is the Sunshine Terror. Um, Dole Whip ice cream has different flavors other than um, pineapple. So here, today actually they have a special, which is what Anthony's getting, my husband, is the Red's Revenge Float, which is Dole Whip uh, strawberry self-serve. Um, and it comes with a chocolate pirate hat, uh, hat without the hat, because that one obviously is not vegan, but everything else is. So you can uh, also order that. Another different treat. The only thing is that, just be in mind, this closes at 8 o'clock. Because last time we maybe wanted to have to do it for, um, for uh, right before the fireworks and everything that we come here is closed. So just bear in mind that this closes early. So And doesn't say that anywhere. So you just have to know. Just a little tip. So here it is. This is the Rest Revenge. Again, this is my husband, so I'm not going to have it, so he got the hat, but if you ask without the hat, it's all vegan. So I'm just going to try the actual ice cream and see what it tastes like. Mm. It's really good, actually. Ooh, it's super, super sweet, I have to say. Very, very strawberry-ish. Tastes like a star strawberry starburst. Mm -hmm. That's exactly what it tastes like. It's a float, I think, what it says here. Strawberry Fanta but the actual ice cream is really yummy. I'm gonna give it to my husband so he can eat it. But nice treat, right there. Here's a close up look of Red's Revenge. And I don't know what happened. The cart was full when we went there and then all of a sudden it came back just with the two of us. 
Like, I guess everybody went to the Twilight Zone or something. I mean, oh well. And for dinner, we went to Toledo's Tapas at the Coronado Springs. And I just wanted to include some pictures of the hotel because it was really beautiful and the restaurant was just gorgeous. Um, here's some videos. This place is gorgeous. Look at this. Right next, right in front of it, is uh, the um, World Showcase. So you can see the fireworks there too. So pretty awesome view from here. So the chef just came, and they said that all I can eat is this is the menu. Under the tapas is the olives, which is the aceitunas. Under the appetizers, the bread with tomato, literally. And they do have an entree, which is a plant-based seafood, which is what I was gonna eat. However. Out of it, so all I can have is olives and um, bread and tomatoes. Mm. So um, yeah, I think I'm not eating here today because I don't feel like eating bread and tomato in a restaurant. Okay, so the waiter came back and he actually said that they have one left, one left, so I can eat today. <laughs> so I order the um, I order that 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 seafood um, plant based dish and we also order the um, the pan de tomate, con tomate, um, for an appetizer. We were like, I'm like, uh, so I can't eat like nothing. So we we're trying to figure out what to eat and the guy just came. He's like, we have one more, we can make one more. So hopefully it will be like a full dish and it won't be like smaller than usual. So we'll see. But um, that was kind of funny. I love this place though. It's really pretty. I love it. I love it. Really beautiful. And I ordered a little vodka martini, sangria martini. And I have to say, it is delicious. It's like beautiful and it's really nice. Um, so yeah. You can taste the sangria, but it's also, you can taste the vodka. It's really, really delicious. So I highly recommend this one. Oh, look how cute. You can see the um, Tower, uh, Tower of Terror. Very Hispanic. Very. <laughs> um, look at that view. That is so pretty. Oh, there's Spaceship Earth. So you can see an awesome view from here for the Illuminations fireworks or the Epcot Forever that's coming up soon. That's awesome. And over here is Hollywood Studios. So Tower of Terror. Rock and Roller Coaster, you can see a little bit of Slinky right there, right there, and then Galaxy Sedge. How awesome is this? Beautiful. Really, really cute. Really cute. Bathroom. Beautiful view. Just beautiful. So this is the pan con tomate, which is literally pan, which is bread, and tomate, which is tomato. It looks like crushed tomatoes, and it's, I think it had garlic and olive oil. So it's kind of like a little Spanish bruschetta, and the bread looks delicious, really, really nicely um, um, broiled, crisp up. Well, let's give it a try. 
give it a try. Let's see. It's not spicy, but it's like really garlicky. Wow, okay, okay, never mind. Okay, it's very garlicky. First, I thought it was gonna be spicy. Wow, that's garlicky. But I love garlic. Um, let's, let's try it one more time. This first, I thought it was gonna be super spicy. Wow, because it hits your taste buds like immediately. Um, hold on. My husband was scared <laughs> for me. <laughs> Let me give it another try. Yeah, the first like few bites hits you like with the garlic, <laughs> but it's really good. Like, if you like garlic, you're gonna like this. It actually has more flavor than I thought it was gonna have. I thought it was just gonna be crushed tomatoes, <laughs> but it's very garlicky. But I love it. Um, so yeah, really good. So I think eleven dollars or ten dollars. Um, yeah. Because you need to eat this. And it has like four pieces of bread, but they're really, really big pieces. So. And here's a close up of the pan con tomate. So, here is my Plan B seafood dish, which looks pretty amazing, I have to say. These are the scallops. That looks awesome. It has um, a crab cake, which, man, that looks like crab cake pieces. And um, these are hilarious. It's supposed to be um, squid, the calamari, and it has a bed of um, couscous, as you can tell from the from this. It has like a little salsa over here with some um, mushrooms and um, tomato and I think um, orange and a sauce. It looks really awesome. Let's give it a try. I'm so happy. <laughs> Here's a close-up of the vegan seafood medley, and here's a little spoiler. This was literally one of my favorite dishes this trip. Okay, we're first gonna try the um, crab cake. Um, look, it actually looks like a crab cake. Um, like the pieces of it. Let's give it a try. Wow. This crab cake kicks the other crab cakes at the sci-fi ass. That is so good. However, this <laughs> phone went into the sauce. <laughs> this sauce, I want to say, is spicy. <laughs> but this crab cake is so good. Oh my god. What is in it? So the stuffing is really, really, really... The, the texture, I think, is the thing that I love the most. It tastes, it's just like a crab cake. Um, it has like Creole seasoning kind of seasoning. That's really good. Okay, let's try the uh, calamari. Okay, so it's mushrooms. But I like the, um, the breading that they used, actually. Um, tastes similar to like a breading that they would use for a regular calamari. And now let's try the scallop. Okay. Mm. So this one they made with the um, that mushroom. I think it's an oyster mushroom. It's called. Um, and I've seen that made before. That one's okay. That one. It's okay. The other two are my favorite. These are really good. But I think it's because of the breading that they used. But man, this crab cake is it's like the best thing I've ever had. Plant based. Look at this. It it, look at the. That's just like um like crab. And the texture. It's just like a crab cake. That's ridiculous. I'm gonna try the couscous too. That's nice. That's a little bit of a citrus flavor. I think it's because of the salsa that they put on. It's really nice actually. I like the citrusy flavor. Overall, this is an awesome dish. 
Okay, like seriously, this crab cake is so good that I'm like to the point where I want to ask the chef if this is really like plant based. Because it tastes like crab. The texture is like crab. Okay, my husband's trying it too because I'm telling him, I'm like, this thing tastes so good. He says that it tastes like stuff. What? Stove, stove top, stove, stove, stove top, top stuffing. And I think, yeah, I think I've only had that a few times because it has that, like, it has, it's very, very seasoned, but every crab cake is seasoned. But it's also the texture of it, you know? Like, yeah, like a stuffing, like the texture. But crab cakes are like that too. Okay. <laughs> it's so good though. Okay, I can continue to eat it because I was suspicious. Um, yeah, these these are delicious. These are addicting. They're very crispy, and you can tell that it's mushroom because of the texture, but it doesn't taste mushroomy because the coating is very crispy and very flavorful. And man, this couscous is so citrusy and delicious. Mmm. Another update for the um, couscous because I'm like this is citrusy, but there's also another flavor and it actually has um, Like dates, I think or figs or some sort of like sweet um, uh, Dried fruit but like not dried like semi semi dry fruit It's so good. I think it, it is dates I think it's So good <laughs> It adds a different different flavor than to a regular couscous. So citrusy, with a little bit of le um, orange and some dates. Okay, we determined it's fig, <laughs> which makes sense because this is a Spanish-oriented um, menu. So yeah, and it's pretty big pieces um, in the couscous. So it adds a really nice flavor. So if anybody wants to do something fancy to their couscous, add some fig to it because it tastes really good. Right now, before I forget, this is, I think, the best meal I've had here. That was so ridiculously amazing. Like, everything about the whole dish. Except the spicy sauce, but that's just because of me. Everything about this dish was so good and flavorful and, like, amazing. The best I've had, I think, this trip. So, highly, highly recommend this place. And it's not too far to get to it. Um, it wasn't hard to make reservations. The view is beautiful. That was so good. So, so good. Beautiful. Vegan dessert, which is a chocolate avocado mousse with some um, strawberry sorbet and some coconut um, something crumble and some raspberries. That's so cute. So let's give it a try. And here's a close up of the avocado chocolate mousse. So, first, I'm trying the um, mousse. Nice consistency. Mm. Really good. Very, very chocolatey. Very smooth flavor. And this crumble thing is delicious. Okay, let's try. Ooh, yeah, it's a coconut crumble. Now I can try a little bit more. Let's try the sorbet. I can get some in my spoon. Hmm. It's very, it's um, kind of lemony actually. It has some um, strawberry, but very lemony. But um, yeah, the mousse is really good. I really like the mousse. I wish it was a lot more because I thought it was going to be deep, but no, it's not deep at all. <laughs> but it tastes really good. Let me try one of these things. I don't know what it is. I think it's just sugar. So, overall, it's a nice dessert. Very small, but really nice. 
Okay, so I have to say, um, now that I have all my, my meal and everything, and with this view and everything, this, I would compare this restaurant to, and especially also the price, to the California Grill. Very similar in terms of like, you know, very, very nice. Um, the food is really delicious. The ambiance, you know, you can see out and everything. So it really can be comparable to, um, California Grill. And if you ask me, would I have had the California Grill meal again or this one again? I would 100% say this one. The dessert at California Grill was definitely much better, but this meal was so good here. Um, so, yeah. Um, and I don't think a lot of people know about this restaurant because it just opened about two months ago. And um, I would highly recommend it. Um, yeah. I, would, I don't think I would ever say that I would have preferred something else other than California Grill because that's a really nice restaurant, but I think I would prefer this restaurant over California Grill. I think obviously not the fireworks show because I mean the fireworks that you see here are not as amazing as the one in Magic Kingdom. Um, so I will still probably go to California Grill uh, during my trips, but um, this is definitely a nice, uh, nice uh, add-on to our trip. And that's the restaurant up there. It's the grandest in the tower. Beautiful place. And identify. Sauropod. Still not our dino, but at least this one's a vegetarian. rice and beans, crispy tofu, and the um, uh, green onion vinaigrette. Um, this is just such a big, like, good thing for your buck. It's very nutritious. I mean, this is fried, but that's about it. Um, it's a lot of, like, it's this is big, it's so heavy, and it's so, so good for you. And here's a close-up of the rice, beans, and crispy tofu. Okay, let's give it one more try in case it changed. You know, you never know. So I, l I have a little bit of the um, of the vinaigrette, the rice, and the tofu. Mm -hmm. It does as good. I like how the tofu is very firm. It has a little bit of a kick, the tofu itself, because it is spicy tofu, but it's so manageable. And with the vinaigrette, it helps. And the rice and the beans, everything kind of makes helps it like tone down a little bit so for me it's manageable and um it's delicious the rice could have been cooked a little bit more for my liking this is a little bit hard but i'm just nitpicking right now <laughs> this is delicious and i'm gonna eat the whole thing <laughs> so good so it's super 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 hot today uh so i wanted to get another delicious refreshing drink at starbucks and we're in animal kingdom at the um, Creature's Comfort, which is a Starbucks here. And it was a little bit complicated to make the vegan order here. I swear to God, the people were like, they didn't know what was vegan, what wasn't vegan. I couldn't find the article of the drink that I liked. Then I found the video that I made last time and I was able to figure it out. It was just like, it took forever. But the lady was really patient and she like made it for me especially. Um, it's again, it's almond milk. It's like a mocha frappuccino light, almond milk and cookie crumbles, no choc uh, no chips, because those are not vegan, but she put um, blended chips, uh, no chips, sorry, blended cookie crumbles. And then at the bottom, she put some more. And then at the top, she put some more. So it tastes delicious. It's very chocolatey and it's crunchy and it's refreshing. That's the most important thing, so. So apparently we're gonna go on the ship by ourselves and we're gonna pilot, we're gonna be the engineers, and we're gonna be the, what the other one? The engineer, pilot, and uh, gunner! Because we have no one else here. Okay, at least he's coming along with us. Because it's just about two of us. We got the VIP area here. All for us. By the cantina. One last time. Uh, 
and this is my favorite drink here. It's the fussy tom tom, and this little foam makes your lips and your tongue and everything numb. And it's so much fun, but it's actually really delicious. The drink is really refreshing. And it's so good. And the foam is now egg white, so it's actually vegan. So sometimes, usually, uh, when you have alcoholic drinks, the foam is uh, made of egg whites, but not this one. So. Here's a picture of the actual secret menu item. Now it's not vegan, but I wanted to include it um, just so that you know anybody that's watching this can ask for it because my husband said it was delicious. I did try a little bit of the hummus, but that's about it because it was just meats and cheeses and meats and cheeses. <laughs> but so not vegan. And these were some cool pictures that they were taking at Star Wars Galaxy's Edge. There's 360 pictures and then this is another zoom in picture that's just I think it's super cool and there we are again so today we're eating a monster pole I'm gonna be very quiet because it's a fancy place I love this restaurant we spent here in New Year's Eve before we come here I don't know what it's there for vegan options, so I'm gonna have to talk to the chef, I think. But I'll keep you guys posted. Here's what the menu says. Nothing really is vegan, so we're definitely gonna have to ask them. And then they have a prefix menu. Yeah. We shall see. And I'm having a French baguette as my appetizer. <laughs> um, the only appetizer that I could have had is a lettuce, uh, salad or asparagus, nothing else. And I don't want to pay so few dollars for that. So. Uh -huh, bread. And here's a close up of the ratatouille that I got. Okay, so here's my dish and it looks so pretty. So it's actually ratatouille. Look how beautiful it looks. And I asked for a side of rice as well, so they gave me some wild rice. And this looks beautiful. I wonder if I'm gonna have like a ratatouille moment, like in the movie. This is beautiful. I don't know if Remy cooked it. <laughs> I'll be totally okay with that because this is gorgeous. It looks like it has um, zucchini and some tomatoes and some the paint. Uh, the plate is painted with probably tomato sauce and some little. I'm not sure what these two sauces are, but we'll give it a try. Looks gorgeous. Mm -hmm. I'm going to actually see what's underneath it. Ooh, look at that. It's like a medley of, um, of um, cooked vegetables. That's beautiful. I'm gonna give it a try now. Okay, here's my bite with a little bit of the vegetables. And I'm gonna use some of this sauce as well. And uh, Zucchini. Mm. Very, very well cooked. The vegetables are really crisp. These vegetables are beautifully seasoned. Really nice. Um, let me see what this sauce is. Ooh. 
Ooh, it's tangy. That's really nice. And let me see what this other sauce is. Ooh, it's like a plum um, sauce. I like the tangy one a lot. A lot. One more of that one. Um, and let's see the rice. Yeah, just regular wild rice. But um, yeah, that tangy white sauce is delicious. That one. And the vegetables inside are really good. And the zucchini is really nice too. Well, we're all pleasantly surprised, I have to say. Especially since there was nothing in the menu. That was really nice. We'll see how much it is, but um, it's really, really um, healthy. It does have a little bit of oil. I can taste the oil, definitely, in the vegetables. Um, but not too much, so it's definitely pretty healthy. Um, yeah, I'm going to continue to eat now. I would say my only complaint is that it's kind of small. Um, because I, can, I just had a few bites and half of it is already gone. <laughs> Same with the, this is like, this is my hand. This is how small this is. Um, that would be my only complaint, that I think I'm going to be hungry after this. And um, like I said, I don't know how much it is. Um, but the flavors are good. It's just small. And it's literally all gone. I couldn't lick it if I could. Um, <laughs> same with the rice. It's really nice. I just wish it was a, instead of this thing, I wish it was that thing. <laughs> so actually, that was a surprise. It was only $27. Vegetable ratatouille. That's pretty cool. It's not so bad. So these are the beautiful stairs and you go up to the restaurant. And that's the dining hall. So overall, pleasantly surprised. Um, really delicious. A lot of flavor. Um, and not that bad of a price. However, it was very small. I'm not full, but I'm, I'm satisfied. And I just wanted to include some videos of the last time I ever watched Illuminations, Reflections of Earth. Um, this actually was one of my least favorite um, firework shows, but now that it's going, I'm kind of going to miss it. Like, yeah. And these are some of my favorite drinks at Epcot. Um, you can get them at the Italian Pavilion during food and wine, or they also just have it at the Italian Pavilion all year long. People don't even know that. Good morning. We're here at the United Club. The trip is over. Oh really early in the morning, 5 a.m., woke up 4 a.m., um, but yeah, the trip is over. I'm going to uh, show you guys what I have here at the United Club for um, breakfast, and then uh, what I'll eat during the flight, and then that's it. I have water, cereals, which I can't have. They do have oatmeal, still good oats. Nothing added to it, but you can add yourself um, cinnamon, which is nice. Um, they have fresh orange juice, um, brown sugar, and things like that that you can add. They do have bread, um, obviously cream cheese and stuff like that, but that's probably what I'm going to have. Some oatmeal. And then, we also have some fresh fruit. So apples. And some watermelon, melon, blueberries, and oranges. Not too bad. Oh, and some granola. But I can't have the yogurt, but eh, I won't have that either. But a lot of options. So I grabbed some oatmeal with some cinnamon. And a bowl of straw, um, strawberries, watermelon, and blueberries. That'll be nice, nice little breakfast. Unfortunately, this was not edible. It did not taste right. <laughs> it tasted like you should not be eating the watermelon. So I'm just not gonna try anything else. <laughs> I think there's gonna be um, we got upgraded for the first flight, um, and um. Which is only an hour 
for the one that's like nine and a half hours no but uh, I think for the first one because um no it's like a, no it's like two hours um there'll be breakfast um usually they have a cereal and um fruit so I'll have fruit and I'll have my husband's fruit so I'll have uh, two bowls of fruit probably for breakfast um and then try to sleep so we're in the United Club in um, Houston. We landed. It was a short two hour flight. Now we have a seven hour flight. I slept two hours. I've been up since 3 34. I'm exhausted. Um, let me show you what they have here for breakfast. But I already have the other oatmeal and fruit, so I don't think I'm going to get anything here. But um, I'll show you what they have here. I think it's probably going to be the same as Orlando. Although this one may have a little bit more because it's bigger. But, um, I'll show you guys. Okay, and this one they have more fruit, um, but they have strawberries, which I think that's what I'm gonna have. I'm gonna get for today, I guess, but I'm just gonna keep with the fresh fruit. And of course, they also have oatmeal and the typical topping, some brown sugar, and they have cereal and stuff, but. So pretty much just oatmeal and um, fruit. And we were so lucky and got upgraded. So we had some uh, nuts and some mimosas and then for lunch they gave me um, some pasta that I gave to my husband but then it also had a spinach salad with watermelon which was surprisingly good. Um, and it came with a, a pretzel bread which also is vegan because pretzel is vegan. And it had the uh, balsamic vinaigrette. I didn't eat it. I just had the spinach and the watermelon. And then since I didn't have enough Disney the trip, um, I also watched Frozen on my flight home. So thank you so much for watching everyone. If you um, are only watching this video, please make sure to check out part one and part two. And if you watched all the parts, please let me know if you guys enjoyed this as much as I enjoyed filming it and just sharing it with everyone. And I hope that it gave some good ideas and um, that you guys try some vegan options next time you are out there at Disney. Please like and subscribe and I'll see you guys soon. Aloha.